but it would have been one that lots of Wolves fans would have been looking forward to. Obviously, haven't been there for what 16 years, is it? And it's a shame that we won't be going this time round. But in terms of a, a starting eleven, is is it going to be pretty much the same as last time out, or do, do you see fighting for places? No, there's going to be a couple of changes because we've um, two centre halves have got injured on international duty, so we signed Diego Llorente from Real Sociedad. Uh, to come in as sort of third third centre back or, or fight it out for a, a centre back position, and both him and Liam Cooper have gone away on international duty and both picked up groin injuries. So I think uh, Urent is due to be out for three weeks and Cooper too. But they said that Cooper may possibly have a fitness test before the Wolves game. Um, Bielsa doesn't like to change things particularly, and you know after the performance we put in against Manchester City, he's, you know he's well within his rights to not change it. But obviously an enforced change there. I'd expect if neither of them can make it. Um, young centre half Pascal Stroik to come in, who played against Liverpool at Anfield. Uh, so I'd expect him to come in and a uh, bit of the surprise package, really. How he, he's come into a couple of games early in this Premier League start and and looked not out of place at all. So I'd expect him probably to come in. But uh, other than that, obviously we missed Jack Harrison against Man City as well because he was playing against his parent club. So I'd probably expect him to come back in for Gianni Leoski. But uh, the interesting bit will be in the sort of advanced eight ten role. Uh, We've seen a bit of Tyler Roberts and uh, Rodrigo Moreno, the Spain striker, sort of switch it around a little bit. But uh, Tyler found it quite hard against Manchester City, whereas uh, when Rodrigo came on, he really made a really made a difference. So I think he'll have his sort of name in the heart for a start against against Wolves on Monday night. And um, and yeah, we'll have to see. But being Bielsa, I still wouldn't be surprised if he started with Tyler Roberts and brought Rodrigo on at half time because he does like to do that. In terms of the rest of the season, we, we we spoke last time about Patrick Bamford because we were saying sort of he hadn't had the chance in the Premier League yet. He, he's sort of getting it now. Do, are you hopeful for how his season will unfold? Because I think he has a habit of, of scoring against Wolves. Yeah, he, he also has a bit of a habit of uh, scoring in bursts. He, uh, so even in the Championship, he'd, he'd go, you know, get something like four and four and then might not score for another couple of games. So, yeah. you know, after the terrific start he's had to, to the season, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see if he can sort of keep that up um, in a weird kind of way. I don't know if the Premier League kind of suits him a little bit, um, a little bit more than the Championship. It's not quite as hustle and bustle and a thousand miles an hour in the in the Premier League. And it, it just, he seems to be a bit of a different animal this year, but I can't really put my finger on what's, what exactly has changed. And he did an interview with LUTV the other day and he pretty much said the same, that he didn't really do anything any different. But um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see, but the good thing is now with the transfer business that we have done, you know, you've got a Spanish striker uh, potentially to come in and, and replace him if he gets injured or, or loses his form. But I can't really, um, I can't really sort of form an argument for Rodrigo to take his place at the minute because he's been so good. And just finally, then Gary, any score prediction? Um, to be honest, I think it'll be a tough game. I, I'm a big fan of Wolves. I like um, I like Nuno. I think he's a good coach and. Um, they were absolutely fantastic against us last time they played at Ellen Road, albeit in the in the Championship. I think they did a three and Ellen Barry Douglas scored a free kick. Um, it was a pr- pretty dour night, to be honest, but uh, but Wolves were fantastic. And I love the way he plays. Um, I think it'll be a tight game, and I think it'll be an exciting game. I think both teams will they'll have a little go at each other. Um, me me heart says we might be able to scrape a scrape a win, but I think my head says possibly a draw. About just in the way perspective there about. Leeds becoming people's second teams. I mean, it does split opinion because I think they are the team that you love to hate and genuinely hate them. You'd say, wouldn't you normally, Harry? It's a shame that we can't go to Ellen Road. It was one that a lot of people were looking forward to. It's a, it's a great stadium and a, a great city. Wonderful away day. Um, let's go along the lines of that everybody is negative when it comes to coronavirus and we're looking at maybe changing up the team from Fulham. Um, you know, edging that wind, you need to maybe give Matinho a little bit of a break. Do you think that Dendonka and Neves partnership is going to continue? Yeah, I think definitely. I think Dendonka needs to be in midfield because when we've played just Neves and Matinho, especially at the start of this season, it hasn't worked, has it? When we played Dendonka away at Sheffield United, it worked then. So for me, he's got to start. In terms of the team overall, obviously, I don't want to see Sace left wing back again. So hopefully the new lad out Nori, I hope I pronounced that right because I never do comes in and apart from that maybe Adama might start because uh, he's had a good little cameo for Spain in the uh, international break but it'd be interesting to see it's going to be shook up a lot isn't it the team especially while the new lads gel and things like that and then once Nuno finds out what his best team is because I'll be honest I've got no idea what it is at the moment 
we'll see a settled side. But yeah, maybe the big one will be out Nori coming in at left wing back. So do you think maybe Marcel, depending on uh, what his situation is? Oh yeah. What do you think? Yeah, we just don't know. Do we? Between Good shout, two, Dan. Uh, do you, would you go for the experience of someone like Marcel, or is it? Yeah, I think you have to, to at this time, especially if they're going to come at us how we expect they're going to. I'd yeah. I'd hold Trey around the bench and give him the last 20, 30 minutes. And Does let that mean good... two up front, or are you playing Pedence and Neto? Yeah, Pedence and Neto. Neto's been sublime so far, so got to give him a go. I like Pedence. I think Pedence is top class and a better player on the whole than Jota. So those three up top, then Donka and Neves in the middle. Um, we've got a few issues at the back, but... Um, they score four, we score five. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how it goes. Uh, are you worried with this? Uh, the way this uh, Leeds team attacks, Harry, sort of mentioned it before, is that Bielsa seemed to get some sort of um, godly reception for losing 4-3 at Anfield and Dean Smith got absolutely nothing for beating Liverpool 7-2. <laughs> do, do, you, do you think it's just the media have picked up a team that they want to back as an underdog and it just so happens to be Leeds? Yeah, it's because obviously Leeds has been so long since they've been back in the Premier League. The journalists love it and obviously they get a lot of uh, traction whenever they post yeah. or talk yeah. about Leeds because they're a massive club. There's no, there's no denying that. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, all, they're, they're a breath of fresh air. Let's be honest. They've started well. That game against Liverpool was amazing, the way they attacked. But there's no doubt about it. They're so bad at the back. So it's weird because our strength, as we know, in previous years has been our counter-attacking stuff. So, But yeah. with this new stuff Nuno keeps talking about, that we're going to have more possession and break teams back down and be better that way, I've got no idea what we're going to do. But you'd think the counter-attack would work with Leeds coming at us with their attacking press and leaving gaps at the back. But let's see how it goes. I'm a bit nervous about this one because they are on a high like we was when we got promoted. But it's going to be a tough game, man. If there's a game where Nuno should revert back to the counter-attacking football, it's this one mm. it's with a naive Leeds team. There's something that annoys me a little bit about Leeds. We had sort of three or four years in the championship where they won it every September. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes, you are a massive, massive club. But, you know, you've had a good couple of games. Don't get too far ahead of yourselves I'm saying all this are going to pan us 4-0 aren't they <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I don't uh, think they're as good I don't think they're as good as what they think they are yet and I think yeah. Liverpool was a very good result but they still got beaten and Liverpool have been Liverpool have been, Liverpool have been a bit yeah Liverpool have been a bit dodgy still they shipped seven goals against the Villa and Villa <laughs> are no great shape um, I wouldn't be surprised if Wolves went there and did a bit of a job on them it, it, one's coming isn't it you just got a feeling that we've been poor We've got to start doing something to please the quality of football a bit more. I just have got an inkling that one's coming and we're going to give them a bit of a hiding. Oof. Well, in that case, let's uh, have a look at a score prediction from Harry first. Well, I don't know if I agree with this. I think we're still not very, you know, we're not settled as a squad. So I don't know. I'm a bit worried. So I'm going to be, I'll say optimistic, but I'm going to say 1-1 draw. I'm not that confident for some reason. It's not, you're not feeling it in your gut. Uh, Bayless? No. Uh, I really want us to keep a clean sheet. So 2-0 Wolves. 2-0 Wolves, excellent. I'm going to go 2-1 Wolves as always, of course. Uh, let's get your 